Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over how to download and install Pokemon Infinite Fusion with all the sprites in it so that you don't have to move anything yourself. I'll also be showing you how to load this up into the app installer since we're going to be using a new zip for this since the sprites won't work at the moment. So we'll be using this completely from a zip folder, but you'll be able to use it just from the folder itself or from the app if you'd still like to use the app for right now. So the first thing you need to do is look in the description of the video and you will see a Google Link Drive. I will also provide a backup Mediafire drive for you to use to download the zip folder. So when you load up the Google Drive, you will see infinitefusion.zip up here, and you can go ahead and click on the download button here on the top right or here on the middle of the screen. If you are using Mediafire, you can go ahead and click the download button here on the right side, and it'll download the zip. But what you want to do is after the zip downloads, do not click on it to open it. The zip is very large and will probably crash your computer trying to load it, so do not open it. What you need to do is you need to download either 7-Zip or WinRAR to be able to extract it. I am going to be using WinRAR personally, so if you'd want to use this with me as well, I will put the description of the link, I will put in the link in the description of this, and you can download the English version or whatever version of language that you need to use. I'll be using English and install that as well so that you can start using WinRAR. Once you have those two things downloaded, what you have to do is click on File Manager and then go to your Downloads folder. From there, what you want to do is you want to go to where the zip is downloaded. It'll probably be in your Downloads folder. I personally have it in my preloaded folder because I've already done this, but you will see infinitefusion.zip. If you do not see the .zip portion of it, I'll show you how to enable it really quick. Just click on View, go to Show, and hit file name extensions. If I unselect this, that's when you will see that it doesn't say .zip here. So go ahead and hit show and you'll see the .zip. And this is what we're gonna be working with right now. So with WinRAR already installed, right click the .zip, go down to the WinRAR section and hit extract to, and it will create this folder for you. It will take some time to do because this is ultimately going to be a 3 gig folder full of sprites, basically. So what you need to do is just select that option to extract it and then just kind of wait for it to finish, but it will create this folder for you. Now, when you get into this folder and double click on the Infinite Fusion folder again, you will see all of the game files and that's all you need to do. You just need to download, extract, and you're ready to go. If you want to start playing the game, just double click game.exe and you're good to go. There is one setting you do need to turn off, but let me show you how to import this into the app installer first, if you want to use the app installer still. So the app installer is a separate download, and this will tell you whenever there are any new game updates or new sprites and anything basically related to the game, it will let you know. So I will put the link in the description of this as well, if you want to still use this. So what you need to do is you need to click on settings, click change link folder, and navigate to the folder of where your new extracted Infinite Fusion folder is. So you would go to downloads and it would probably be in here named Infinite Fusion. For me, it's preloaded because I mentioned I, made, I created a folder for this already. But if you click on Infinite Fusion and Infinite Fusion again, once you get to this area here where you start seeing these other folders like graphics, data, fonts, that's when you know you're in the right location and you can click select folder. I am using a... Okay, cool. So um, now once you see this and you'll see the game version up here on the top right, so 6.2.3, that means it was imported successfully. So now what we want to do is we want to open the game. If you don't want to use the app installer, all you have to do is double click on game. If you're using the app installer, you can just go ahead and click play and it'll open up the game for you. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the game and open up your save file if you have one. If you have a save file already, press escape, go to options and go down to download sprites and turn this off. After you turn this off, hit escape and save your game. And that is it. That's all you need to do to set up this game with all the sprites in it already. If you do not have a save file, that's perfectly fine. 
And what you want to do is that when you do create a new save file, you want to make sure that you select no when it asks you to download sprites. So let me show you really quick of where that is. Normally it actually asks you if you want to download sprites, it didn't ask me this time, but just in case it does, on your new save file what you want to do is going to go to options and go down to download sprites, make sure this is off, and save your game. If not, then it's going to try to download sprites and it will result in errors and question marks and all of that stuff since the sprite repo is down right now. Um, so just make sure you have download sprites turned off and you're set up to go. Alright, but that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the description below or in the tech support channel on Discord and I will help you guys out.